guys an update on what I have got done on the pantry while I was while the camera was off so let me move you closer and this is what I got done the oh let's see if I can move this maybe not <laughs> okay trim on the top is done trim around here is done. I just used lattice and butted them up really close to each other. And that worked fine on that side. So I got all the trimming done, except for, I miscalculated. I need one more piece for up across there. And I need another piece for the rest of this uh section down here it's gonna um be thinner it's gonna be a weird golly this tripod's not working out hold on okay there anyhow there's gonna be a thinner piece down here but it's gonna be okay because the um butcher block countertops will hide it so They'll just be a little seam. And I had one mess up, up on the top. See that little one inch block on the left hand side? Yeah, that's how my morning's been going. I also, let's see what you guys can see. I'm gonna have to figure out this tripod. Okay, I did get a door handle on today. That was a pain because this door is paper. It's all paper. And so chiseling out paper to get this to sit flush was a complete pain, but it works. And uh, one of you guys told me that once I get it trimmed out, you won't notice that it's popping out at the top and you don't. It's like popping out an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to leave it and hope that Someday I could find an old fashioned door with a glass panel in it, you know, that I could etch onto it. And God willing, if it's supposed to be, if it's supposed to happen, then it'll happen. But I do have an idea for painting this. So, um, or for the design on it. So, um, that's not going to happen today. I have been up since Oh, dark 30 in the morning. Actually, I didn't sleep very well last night. So my plan was to get this trimmed out and painted today. But apparently I have to go back to the lumber store for one more stick of wood. But um, then uh, once I get that, I'll slap that little piece or the two pieces up and go ahead and caulk and, and paint and paint my cabinets at the same time. But it's not happening today or... Let's see, today's Friday. Maybe it'll happen this weekend. Uh, I have another appointment in town on Monday, so Monday is not going to work. But uh, yeah, we'll see how my back feels because right now it's on fire. <laughs> All this uh, squatting down and standing back up again and squatting back down again has just wreaked havoc on my back. But it is, it is, got a door. And when I went grocery shopping yesterday, it got groceries in there too. It is dark in there, so I am gonna need a light, but um, my sister showed me some that she found on Amazon that are battery operated and uh, motion sensored. So they only come on when you open the door. So uh, I think that'll be good, but it'll hold food. I'm super happy with it, so. Uh, I'm liking how it turned out and 
after I get it painted, then I will be moving. Actually, I might move all the food in there beforehand anyhow. I'm not going to bother with the floor in there. It's only half painted because um, I'm just going to um, save up money to do the floors in here. So, I mean, it might be a while, but it's a pantry. No one's going to look at the floor. Hey there, dreamers. So I am back at it again today. Today is Tuesday. It's like 11 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just now getting started. But let me show you what I did off camera. So I kind of a little bit planned out what my door is going to look like. I'm going to put strips on the sides and in the middle uh, with the Luan that I have back over there in the corner. So that's probably all I'm going to do today is um, get those strips cut which is going to be a nightmare because this is all the room I have <laughs> to play with and I have that big old sheet of Luan. So I'm going to try and get the length that I need off the side and then work with smaller pieces after that. We'll see how it goes. Anyhow, I'm going to put you on time lapse. And let's see how bad I can mess up a sheet of Luan. <laughs> Hey guys, so I tried to cut that sheet down by myself and I couldn't, so I had a friend come over and help me run it through the table saw. And now what we have, what I have, is some strips and I'm gonna cut those down and attach them to this door. So let me get on it and I will put you guys on time lapse.
Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I got the door trimmed out. What I'm going to do is all this is going to be painted white, including the door, except for this area right here. That area right there is going to be painted with the chalkboard paint. So I could write on it. And I got black uh, chalkboard paint for it. So it'll be like a faux glass door <laughs> until someday it grows up to be one. But I think the chances of finding a 24 inch wide door with glass panel on it is like slim to none. So this will probably have to work for my lifetime. But I'm liking it. I'm not going to bother with painting yet because um, I still have a lot more sawdust stuff to do. So I'm going to wait until all that's done and get everything vacuumed and cleaned up and then come through and paint the cabinets and the pantry at the same time. So in the meantime, I don't even know if you guys can see me and my battery is going to die. But in the meantime, I plan to build a wall. Let's see if I can do this. But there's going to be a two foot wide wall that goes from there all the way up uh, in alignment with this wall on the left. And that'll hide the utility stuff in the hallway. Um, so, and then once I do that, I can move the dog gate up to this wall up here and start demoing the rest of that wall back there. So, uh, but I'm not getting ahead of myself today. I'm gonna try and build the wall and then lift it into place, hopefully without destroying anything in here. So, uh, but first I'm gonna go eat some lunch and golly, it's 1.30. Maybe I'll get this done today. If not, I'll be back at it tomorrow.
did not know what it would bring Now I'm capable of everything Okay guys, I am done for today. So, I mean, besides cleaning up. But, got that wall built. And on the back side, I just chapped it in place. Cause Titus likes to eat drywall. So I've discovered. So, um, I just chapped it in place for now. Um, but also I have to run the wires in here. This will be the light switch for the hallway lights once I decide where those are going. So um, that's why it's tacked in place. But that's what it looks like now. So still have 36 inches across that opening. So I still have wheelchair access there. That'll be the only wall. So, um, you know, once you navigate past the freezer and that wall it'll be wide open uh except for the one foot wide cabinets that i put in there but so that kind of cordons off the living room from the hallway utility area and now the pantry cordons off the living room from the kitchen area now i don't know if you guys could tell this but the kitchen area here is so much bigger than the living room and that's kind of on purpose for me because I'll be spending more time in the kitchen than in the living room. I don't watch TV so that TV is up there just for decoration uh, or if I choose to watch YouTube on it. I don't even have a sofa yet so um but I plan on getting a small sofa and putting it in this corner back in here. And then I have a lazy boy recliner I could put in. And that'll be all of my living room furniture probably. I don't even know if I'll have lamps in here. But, oh, and then we had discussed one of the options was to put my desk in this corner. Which would be wonderful except for I don't believe, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Oh, these flies are bad. Yeah, there's no outlets over here. Um, I did run a separate outlet in that corner of the kitchen on its separate circuit. I actually ran two separate circuits in that corner over there. One to run the computer, the other one to run the AC. So the computer is going in that corner. And I guess in this corner, maybe I'll just put my little lazy boy here and uh, make it a reading nook or something. That'll be fine. But, or I could just leave it as the kitty corner. I have uh, some oak, a uh, little short oak bookcases I could put along here and put all my books in there. And uh, yeah, not that I brought many books. I, uh, a lot of my books I left in California. When I left there, I actually donated them to a um, library there, so I didn't have to tote them to Washington and then again out here. But yeah. Uh, oh, and then I finished trimming up the the pantry, and I also finished trimming out the uh, fireplace. It's not the trim that I wanted on the fireplace. Let's go back over here for a minute and I'll show you. So on the fireplace, on this upper part, uh, this piece here, I wanted like a decorative trim thing, but <laughs> not at like, I think it was $15 a stick and it just ain't that important to me. So it's just got trimmed in the uh, bare wood, <laughs> you know, flat bare wood. 
Instead, you know, someday if I'm rich and famous, I could always uh, pull that one off and upgrade it to something better. But for now, that's what it's going to be. Anyhow, so I think that is going to be it. Let me get you guys back over here. I think that's going to be it for this video. I'll go ahead and upload this to you guys. And um, I think I'm done with the sawdust in here for now. So I should be able to paint in here uh, very soon. So I think that's going to be next in here is painting uh, the cabinets and the fireplace and the pantry. After I, uh, you know, clean up all the sawdust and the, the dust off of everything first. Because I still have sheetrock dust everywhere. Now I have even more. So, but I only have one more piece of sheetrock left. I'm going to throw that up in the hallway. Um, because now that I know that my light switch for the hallway is going here. I can go ahead and put up a piece of sheetrock over here. I'll leave the other one empty for now and um, until I order more. And yeah, then I can move the puppy gate and start demoing the rest of that wall out. So, yay, progress. But I need to get all this <laughs> dust. This horrible sheetrock dust just covered everything in here. Oh, let me give you one other update. Those of you that follow me on Facebook, you know I come out here in the mornings and have coffee. Well, hear those chainsaws in the background? That's because he's been out here pulling trees down all day. There's still some more in the back that are gonna go. And this big guy over here is gonna go but I will have a clear view of the sunrise up over that mountain in the morning. So, and my fruits and vegetables in the vegetable garden will uh, also get more sun. So I'm super excited for that. Um, can't wait to see what the sunrise looks like tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm done. I'm babbling. Uh, that wall was easier to build than I thought. The pantry door was not quite as easy, <laughs> but anyhow, let me uh, get this edited and uploaded to you guys. Got to bring the puppies in. They're probably outside wreaking havoc. They're worried because somebody's out there, you know, in the forest with a chainsaw. And <laughs> I don't know. They're not used to people being out here. Anyhow, I will get this edited and uploaded to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and bye-bye. <laughs>